on 10 ring camera capturing bullets flying outside a nightclub in Fort Lauderdale, killing one person, leaving a community on edge as well. Residents there say the club has been plagued with problems and they're demanding change. So let's get right over to local 10 crime specialist Bridget Matter live in Fort Lauderdale with this exclusive. Bridget. This has been really frightening for those people that are living near that nightclub tonight. Police are searching for a man who killed someone in that area. That rapid gunfire jolted people out of bed Sunday morning living in the Cypress Creek Mobile Home Country Club. That video came from a camera inside a man's laundry room. Very concerned, terrorized. My parents live here. Um, you know, stray bullets. You know, they don't really discriminate against anybody. He didn't want to be identified, but says he and his neighbors are living in fear. Another neighbor's security cameras captured the same thing. The mobile home park sits behind the Take One Lounge in Fort Lauderdale. It's where police say 37-year-old Bernie Jean was shot and killed. Another person was also hurt. James Minoli owns that mobile home park and is deeply concerned. We've told them over and over someone would eventually lose their life. Back in May, we showed you this video. Gunfire heard on neighboring surveillance cameras. A woman sleeping on her floor to feel safer in case gunfire erupts. A local 10 investigation discovered more than 150 calls for service from April 2020 to May 2021. Tonight, police continue to look for the shooter in this latest shooting, and people living nearby are hoping for a resolution. I've already called code enforcement on them. Um, so it's been several issues, but the, obviously the most uh, concerning to me as a resident here is the gunfire. We did visit the lounge earlier today to try and get comment, but it appeared to be closed. If you have any information, police, they are asking anyone that was there and might have video of what happened to come forward and give them that evidence. For now, we're live in Broward County, Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.